<laughs> My name is Rick, and I know a lot about games. Come watch my videos, and I'll teach you about games. Come on, this is totally original, guys. Yeah, it's totally original, guys. Totally original, guys. Yeah, this is totally original, guys. Yeah. Thanks for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. And I hope you learned something. Cold. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Totally Original Guides. My name is, of course, Rick, and I'm joined by Floyd. And here it is, the boss of the game, Ripto, the titular character. Uh, we're going to fight him, and we're going to beat him. Uh, of course, there was a cutscene there. We did skip that. You could watch that if you want. Oh, uh, but uh, we're just going to jump right in here. So, uh, why don't you tell us what we're doing here, Floyd? Uh, so, uh, what you're going to want to do is, first of all, change it to passive. Because it's really wonky if you um, go in a circle area. Oh, because it tries to, like, correct itself? Yeah. Now, one easy thing... So the basic idea is you guys, you're fine with Ripto to get three orbs. Now, to get the three orbs, what you're going to want to do is pick them all up. There's different colors. There's red, blue, and green. Now, you're going to want to make sure, as long as he gets, um, uh, if you have two greens and you get a blue for your third one, you're going to get blue. So make sure you're planning accordingly. So whatever, la the last orb you pick up? The or last orb. Oh, okay, so up. that's the only one that... That, that matters. Yeah. And there are the three different ones depending on which color you get. So, yes. So I saw blue was the uh, running. And then red is going to be the flame... Bre the flame... Um, super flame. Super red. flame. And then green eventually will be these bombs. Oh, okay. And, uh, for this phase of the fight, because there will be multiple phases, people, uh, which, which one do you say is probably the best to go for? Uh, for this one, either the red or the green will do for you. Okay. Just gotta spam attacks to him. Because you can hit him multiple times. Oh, that's good. And now, and don't worry for health, because Hunter will drop sheep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just be careful. Oh, so... That that's a that that was his greed attack. That was his, and this is yours. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting boss fight. I like the dynamic there of uh, you both sort of are following the same conventions. Of course, now we have the second phase here. This um, is uh, Gulp 2.0. Yeah, as I like to say. So it's, it's largely the same thing. Yes. Um, uh, I will say, for this one, I do recommend, if you can, get um, uh, the blue one. That uh, one really, really easy with this guy. Yeah. So with the first phase there, green or red was seemed to be the best. And then for this phase, that blue one is, is definitely the best. So see if you can get uh, blue as your third orb there. And remember, if he, um, uh, that's his green. Ah. So he shoots some lasers out at you. Now, one, uh, um, uh, orb that's really interesting for him to get is the red one. So if he gets the red one, we'll, we'll show you. See, and with this, since he's so huge, you can hit him easily with the charge. Yeah. And you're... Perfectly safe when you're doing the charge. That's good. So here's an example. So he got all that red. He's going to spit out one flame boy. And if you guide the flame oh. to him, it'll blow up on him. So it'll follow you around and you can get it. Ah. So that's pretty useful, actually. So there you go. If you, if, 
if you could get him to get red, uh, like uh, he was about to there, then you could uh, actually hit him with his own attack. That's pretty useful. So, and of course, make sure that you're grabbing those sheep. Because you do not want to die this far uh, in the fight. Now, there's one more phase after this. Yeah. So, ooh, he's almost done. We're just going to get this red one, finish him off. So there's that. His health waited to the negative, it looked like. So now during this phase of the boss battle, you don't need to worry about grabbing orbs. You're just going to grab this automatically. So this is like that power-up I was talking about last episode. Ah. Where you have uh, infinite flying and, fly and uh, super breath. Oh. And, uh, is there any, um, uh, specific mechanics to this fight, or is it just so, dodge his thing? Uh, and... so he's gonna be shooting his scepter at you. One thing I recommend, just stay far away and, uh, shoot where he will be. And, uh, you shouldn't get hit at all if you're good. Yeah. Which you're probably not, but you will be, uh, once you've done this. Uh, that, uh... So this, uh, tactic, it might take a little bit longer. Uh, but, but it is safe. It is safe. Was, uh, just the stag far away, or uh, is there yeah, something specific? Yeah, stag far away. Uh. And remember, you want to be very safe on this, because obviously Hunter can't drop no sheep. Yeah. Because they'd obviously die. And you know, if you if you uh, lose a life on this part, you get you sent have... back to the beginning. Uh, so you definitely do not want to die during this part. Uh, but of course, as Floyd is showing you here, should be too difficult. That's the end of it. So, Ripto is now, uh, well, R.I.P. I suppose, and uh, that's the end of the game. Of course. You have a hundred percent if you've been following the guide, so there's a little bit more for you to do uh, in the secret world. So it's gonna show us the credits there. We're just gonna skip the credits, and it's gonna bring us to Dragon Shores, which is of course the secret world here. This is the uh, area I believe Spire was trying to get to originally. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, I will say, you have to have a certain amount of gems and orbs to get in here. But if you've been following the guide, I'm sure you have, um, I, that will be no problem. So, uh, the objective of this is to just get the Ted, uh, tokens or coins. Yep. Uh, of course, that, you do have to have 100% in order to open up that door. And that gives you permanent flame, uh, super flame breath. So you could shoot those little beatiers out. Yep. And normally you would have to use the t the baseball he gives you to shoot out. Yeah, but we're we're better than that because we're not filthy plebs. Uh, and what best and best of all, uh, there's really not that much to this level. It's a pretty enjoyable little ride here. So you don't have to. Uh, no real big tips and. Uh, Stuff like that. If you've been following the guide, the Super Breath makes everything pretty much real easy. There's three tokens for this, three tokens for the shooting gallery, one for the love ride, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, three for the uh, roller coaster. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually just going to let you go ahead and enjoy this. Uh, if you need any help for some reason, uh, the, of course... There is the, the playthrough of uh, Floyd doing it. Uh, but we're not really going to commentate over it because there's not much to say. It's pretty easy. I mean, this is literally one of the tokens just watching a cutscene. <laughs> so uh, not too difficult stuff. But we, we just want you to enjoy it uh, without really uh, getting you bogged down from that commentary. So uh, we'll see you 
uh, at the end uh, with a little bit of closing, and uh, that'll be it. As promised, here... <laughs> There's... Wow, you're a natural. You highest. Ready?
Ready. So uh, that's the end, and uh, once you finish and get all the tokens, it opens up the theater here, so you can watch uh, all the cutscenes of the game. Uh, that's it for this Spyro 2 Complete Guide. We hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I really hope that you guys uh, found it useful, and I really hope that you'll tune in for future guides. Uh, of course, as we uh, mentioned in one of the episodes of the Spyro Guide towards the beginning there, um, in October, I will be doing the Resident Evil 4 Guide. Um, so make sure that you keep and stay tuned for uh, uh, whatever's going on. Uh, of course, you should probably ignore everything else on the channel because the other shows on here made by Nick are pretty lackluster. Uh, totally Original Guides is, of course, the premier show. Uh, what you probably subscribed for in the first place. So without further ado, I will leave you and uh, have a good day. And we'll see you in the next guide. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>